Hey guys, how's it going? So we're back on our test store. Let me go to the desktop. Test store, testing, McTesty. And I am going to show you in this video how to bulk edit your products as well as tag them and organize them and put them appropriately in the right collections automatically as well as manually. I'm going to show you how to organize your products. So in this store, uh, we have seven days left on this trial, but I'm going to go ahead and go to products on the side here. And I've imported a bunch of products that I, I need to bulk edit. I need to bulk uh, rename them. I need to tag them appropriately to add them to the right collections. And we're going to do all that, but I've imported them from Oberlo. If you don't know how to import products from AliExpress using Oberlo into your store, you can check out my other video on this side up here, the little eyeball. We're gonna go ahead and bulk edit these, jump right into it here. And as you can see, I have four hoodies of gray, purple, blue, brown, uh, four pants, gray, purple, blue, blue brown, and four uh, shoes, gray, purple, blue, brown. So I need to put all the shoes in a shoe collection, uh, all the pants in a pants collection, and all the hoodies in the hoodie selection. And well, and I also want to put them in the appropriate color collection and maybe add a collection that's like, uh, you know, buy the whole outfit type thing. Uh, but first we have these ugly names from Oberlo that they come with, just the default names. So I'm gonna edit these. And so obviously you can click in to the product here and then right here you could just edit the title. Uh, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you a easier way to do this in bulk. Now, there are apps to help you do this kind of stuff even easier, but I'm going to show you how to do all this bulk editing just through Shopify. Check box this to select everything. And I actually, or you can select specific things, sorry, but I'm going to select everything because I want to rename everything. And then you could just hit edit products right here. So what you can do here is we don't need to see the SKU, uh, so you can get rid of all these fields and I'm not going to worry about editing the prices, but you can see you can bulk edit a lot of things in here. I'm going to add field. I'm going to add a uh, title and you could add all kinds of fields uh, to edit this, but I'm going to add title. We'll stretch this out a little bit and it shows you a little picture here. So this one's a gray hoodie. I'm just going to bulk edit this. I'm going to call this a uh, gray hoodie. And you could tab and do uh, purple hoodie tab. Maybe this one's a little more purple, but this one's going to be a blue hoodie. And this one's brown. Hoodie. Now you can name these whatever you want. I do suggest actually putting uh, more creative names into this stuff, something that'll really get it to sell. Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so now that I have named everything here, I'm just going to hit save up the top, make sure you save it. And it's going to go through and you can see the checkbox going down here. That's just when you know it's saved. And then at the end, a little notice will pop up. Save 12 products. Okay, so we can go back. And now you can see that they're all named. Nice bulk edit here. Now, with this bulk editing, uh, like I said, if you want to bulk edit anything else, you could just add the field and go right down the line and edit it. So if I wanted to change the pricing on all this, I can go ahead and do that, uh, but I'm just gonna leave it the same. So that's how you bulk edit. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna add the appropriate tags to each one of these things. So you can see here that I have uh, all my blue stuff here. I can check box just the blue, and if I wanted to, I could just hit more actions and hit add tags. And then I could just add any tags I want to these products. Uh, I'm not going to add any tags for just the blue ones, but I will add tags for all the hoodies. 
and I'm going to add a hoodie tag. So we'll checkbox all the hoodies, add tags, and type in hoodie, and enter, and then save. Now the tag hoodie is created. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for pants. So more actions, we'll hit tag, and this will be the pants tag. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing for shoes, as you might have guessed. Add tags and shoes. Okay, so doing the tags and renaming this stuff is going to be very important for making the collections because I'm going to organize either by the name, you can organize, oh, well, let me show you. So over here on the right, on the left side, go ahead and go to collections under products, hit products, collections. And we have this default homepage one. I'm just going to delete it. You could check box on the right, on the left, hitting that next step and just delete it. And you can create a new collection here. So. What we're going to do first is we're going to make a hoodie collection. So I'm going to name this collection hoodies, right? And there's a few ways, if you scroll down, there's a few ways you can add to the collection. So the first way is manual. If I hit manual and hit save here, uh, it'll give me a way to browse any products I want. And I could, if I wanted to, just checkbox the hoodies and hit add. And then all of a sudden, those hoodies are now in this collection. Uh, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to exit these. And I'm going to show you how to organize these collections based off of tabs. So let's go back. Uh, okay, we may have to delete this collection. I'm going to start over. OK, so create a new collection. Hoodies. Now. Let's add them automatically. So there's a few ways you could do this. You can add these collections based off of the product tag, which we added. So uh, you could do it by product price. So you can make a collection for products that are like between a certain price, or you could do it for products that are on sale, or you could do it for products that you have a certain amount of inventory, or you could do it based on title, by type, by vendor. You can see all these different options. So I'm gonna show you first how to do it by product tag. You select product tag, its product tag is equal to hoodie. So if I just hit enter or save once I have this, now everything I've tagged with the word hoodie in the tag, with the tag, uh, will be in this collection. Um, so what else is important is this product must match all conditions or any conditions. So if I wanted to, I could make this a collection of hoodies and pants. Um, but see, if I hit add another uh, addition and I put pants, add another condition, it won't show anything because it's only going to show the products that have both tags, um, pants and hoodies, because I've selected uh, the tag, the product has to match all the tags. But if I put any condition, save, it will go ahead and add uh, the pants because they're tagged with pants and the hoodies because they're tagged with hoodies. So I could do that. I'm going to get rid of the pants though because this is the hoodie collection. Hit save. But I just wanted to show you you can do that. So this is the hoodies collection based off of tags. Now we have that. There's another way you can add this, and I could hit Create Collection. And I want this collection to be everything that's blue. So this is the blue collection. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add things to the collection automatically based off of the product's title. So you can change it, the product title contains a certain word, or uh, 
is greater to equal less than starts with ends with you do all kinds of stuff but i'm just going to do contains so if the product tag contains the word blue i want it to show up in this collection and we'll go ahead and hit save now here's the blue collection so you can see what i'm kind of doing here uh you can create collections uh let's go ahead and do product tag uh, let's make the pants collection really quick. Okay, so the pants showed up and I have the shoes. So we'll do the shoes and I'm going to again do it by tag and shoes. Okay, so now we have all these collections. In fact, I'm going to make a, what do I have? Gray. I'm gonna make the rest of the color collection. So Okay, so now that we have all of our collections made, I'm gonna show you how to add them to a drop down menu uh, and organize them properly on the drop down menu. So if you hit the eyeball here and go to your store. You can see that this is my menu at the top. I have nothing set up here. It just has home and catalog. Those are just the default menus. But if I go back here and hit online store, it'll give you this drop down, and one of them is called navigation. So if you click on navigation, these are your menus. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click into main menu. I'm going to delete home, delete category. And I'm just going to start adding menus. So if you hit add menu item here, instead of first naming it, uh, it's faster just to click on link because this comes up and you can select collections. So I'm going to go ahead and add the blue collection. See, and then it automatically adds the name to that menu. And the brown collection. And another way you could do this, by the way, if you noticed, is uh, if I hit, so gray collection, I can actually filter it even further if I wanted to, and I can link uh, the gray collection, and then I can, the tag, if I tag the products, I can actually just show, uh, let's say, if I tag the products with shoes, I can add it here. That way, when I select this in the drop-down menu, it'll only show me what's in the gray collection that is tagged with shoes. But I'm not gonna do that, I just wanted to uh, tell you guys that you could. I'm gonna keep adding all these collections that I just made. Okay, so now we have everything. Now, if I were to save this and go view my store by hitting this eyeball, you can see that now everything is listed up at the top just like this, everything I added. But that is a little messy. What I want to have happen is I want to have maybe a home button and I want something that says like maybe shop by collections and a drop down menu that shows uh, maybe the collections and then shop by category or something, drop down menu. So I'll show you how to do that. In here, first I'm going to add a menu item and I'm going to select the home page. I'm not going to call it home page. I'm just going to call it home. So we have that. What you could do is grab these, just grab the six little dots here and you could drag them wherever you want. So I'm going to put that as first for home. And then I'm going to add another menu item. And this one is going to be maybe collections. And I'll just select all collections. This is just if you click on it and I'm going to hit add. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this right below home. So here's where it gets important. Uh, actually, I'm going to edit this real quick. I'm going to change this to not all collections. I'm going to do shop collection and hit apply. Now, to make this a drop down menu, you can actually just drag these underneath into shop collection. And you can go as deep as you want. You can see I can uh, just keep making these into drop downs here. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, just like that.
So this is going to be the collections. Now they're in a drop down menu. And I'm going to go ahead and say shop by category and hit. Oh, OK. I have to select something. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all collections again. Shop by category. Now this one, as you may have guessed, is going to be there. And I'm going to drag all the categories into this. Oh, this is this should belong in the collection. My fault. Open that up. Drag it. Okay. Now, if I hit save and go back to view my store, you can see my uh, home bar, home a uh, navigation bar, navigation bar. I have the home, which will just take me to this this screen if I'm on anywhere else. And I could shop by collections and just go to any one of these. Shop by categories or collections. If I wanted to see all the shoes as a customer, I could just click on shoes. Boom. There's all the shoes I have. All the pants, right there. All the pants, all the hoodies are here. And if you tag things, I just want to leave a note here. Uh, right here, you can actually filter by whatever tags they are. So if I clicked on, um, if I went to all collections, for example, or gray, let's just say gray, uh, I can filter by the tags that I have. So if I was a customer and you had like a bunch of products, it could be beneficial to tag your things appropriately for the customer as well, not just you to organize stuff. Because if you add things into like your gray collection, and your customer is only looking for some gray pants or something, they could just come here and select pants. And everything that's in the gray collection that is pants, tagged with the word pants, will show up. So that is essentially how you organize the drop down menu, how you add tags to your Shopify store. So hopefully that was really helpful for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I have more Shopify tutorials to come. So, see you in the next video.